tend to think of caregiving as one-on-one, -on -one, but what if you had more of a zone defense? Judy Verba is here to share why a team approach can be a win for everyone and where you might find your most valuable players. Judy is a licensed independent social worker at the Benjamin Rose Institute on Aging. Welcome to the show. We're happy Thank to have you here. Thank you. Nice to be here. It seems like a family care caregiver kind of tends to take on everything themselves. Why is that? Um, for many, it just seems like a natural thing to do. Um, first of all, many caregivers are women, and I think that women tend to uh, take on a lot just in many areas of their lives. But when it comes to caregiving, uh, we're, we're often caring for our own parent, and so we naturally feel responsible for them, and we tend to take it all on, and that includes the stress that comes mm. with taking on all of the responsibility. And there's so many parts of it. It would be nice to have help, right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I always say that caregiving can kind of sneak up on a person. In other words, it can start off with one or two manageable tasks, and then as the care needs increase, um, we may or may not realize that we're doing more and more for our loved one, and um, with that comes increased stress. Right. So you I, can, if you could kind of open up the door to have some other people come and help you with that, but who are these others that could be part of a caregiving team? Well, I think that uh, first of all, we need to kind of broaden our, uh, how we define caregiving, and uh, it's not just meeting somebody's uh, physical needs, but it involves social and emotional needs. Mm -hmm. And with that, if we look at it in a broader way, we can let other people kind of step in and and help us. Mm -hmm. So if you're a, a, a sort of one of those people in the middle, you've got a parent you're caring for, you can bring your children into this group of helping, especially if they're around for the holidays like we are, you know, family gatherings and things th these right now. Right. I, I think uh, that's an excellent point and um, I think that even children, younger children can uh, provide a role and it's a resource that we need to look at utilizing more. Okay, so if grandparents haven't had a real relationship and their little grandchildren gathering around them, that's got to give a lot of emotional and social support both ways. Definitely, it's a win-win situation for um, the, the caregiver, the care recipient, and um, the, the grandchild. What if the grandchildren are a little bit older? Well, uh, I think everybody has a role. Um, if the relationship hasn't been all that close or if they don't know the grandparent quite as well, um, maybe focusing on more concrete tasks such as, you know, uh, helping around the house, uh, shoveling snow, raking leaves, walking the dog, those kinds of activities uh, can be appropriate. Um, if there's been a closer bond or a more positive uh, involvement, then I think um, interactions like um, just spending time, maybe watching a movie, playing a game, um, certainly kids of almost any age can help their grandparents with technological issues. <laughs> yeah, very much so. Yeah. <laughs> Even their parents. Right, exactly. <laughs> and by doing all this, I mean, the, the parents are showing their children how you know, um, the good way it, to get a good relationship going and to help out, and it really helps the parents stress, and everybody wins, it sounds like, it, in that kind of a situation. Yes, I think it can definitely be a win-win situation. Win-win-win situation. Win-win-win, yes. yes. It's for yes. everybody. So, yes. Um, especially now at the holidays, I think it's a great idea to start a family tradition, even, maybe, to... Right. I, I think that sometimes we have to be creative in how we think of people's strengths and how we can uh, utilize uh, the resources that we have right under our nose. And it, um, it can really reduce the stress of the caregiver and set a very positive role model for the future. Absolutely. Yes. So, as Judy pointed out, this cross-generational team approach is win-win-win for everybody. 
Um, if you need help in figuring out how to make a caregiving playbook for your own team, use the information that's coming up next. My thanks to Judy for being on our team here today. Thanks. My pleasure. Learn more by contacting the Benjamin Rose Institute on Aging at 216-791-8000 or visit www.benrose.org. Next, 